I have already discovered what this metal wedge is for. We are finally going to see how to install the chuck of this super drill press. We will also see how the curious variator type pulleys work to adjust the rotation speed. I have also just discovered that, as this piece does not press down much on the rack, I can turn the table like this, and the rack accompanies it. Let's remember that the hidden side of the rack has the curved shape of the column. And now we are going to see the super variator type pulleys. The shaft of this pulley rotates the chuck, and this one turns with the motor. And we are going to see that I don't have to be changing the pulley by hand to change its speed. So, when I turn the lever to increase the speed, this actuator, I don't know what to call it, goes up, opening the chuck pulley and thus decreasing its diameter. To see it in action, I am going to turn this by hand. And notice how the pulley on the right closes, while the belt tightens. Here open, and here closed. Okay, now we are going to pretend to slow down the drill press. Notice how this goes down. This one closes, increasing its diameter and this one opens, decreasing its diameter. And now the opposite. Let's simulate increasing the rotation speed of the drill press. It opens. It closes. Okay. And finally, we are going to install the chuck. With acetone, I'm going to clean the Morse tapers and the holes where they must fit well. Now I need a solid base. I insert the short side into the chuck, tightening it a bit. And I have to give it a sharp tap. Well, this won't come off. What I don't know is how to separate the two pieces. There's an edge here. Maybe there is some kind of wedge that fits in here, and that, with a sharp tap, separates the two pieces. Or there might be another system. I don't know. I clean the long side with acetone. and clean the hole in the spindle of the drill press. Now, the jaws of the chuck must be on the inside, because here I am going to have to hit it with a hammer. The top part of this piece must enter aligned with the window, Then I insert it, I turn it to align it, and let it go in as far as it can. And now I have to tap here. Well, not so softly. I don't have a rubber hammer, so I will use this. Wow, but how can I be so rough sometimes? Okay, two or three like the third would be enough. Okay, probably just the third tap would be more than enough. And the chuck of this super drill press is installed and ready to work. I love how smooth it moves, and that it has no play. Before I try it on a piece of wood, I'm curious. Let's see what speed this reaches. The minimum speed it can rotate is 445 RPM, and I'm going to turn the lever. Let's see what the maximum speed it reaches is.
and it reaches approximately 2,742 RPM. But the drill press feels like it is still running smoothly. Let's take a look at the depth stop. It is a very easy to adjust depth stop. First, I'm going to align the mark with zero. I bring the knob to the stop and adjust the mark. Each mark is one millimeter that the chuck goes down. If I set the mark to 26 millimeters, it goes down 26 millimeters. If I release the knob, the wheel can make the full travel. If I move the retention knob the opposite way to the wheel levers, and I lock it, then the levers are locked in that position. I thought that the safety screen would probably be bothersome when recording my woodworking videos. I just discovered that I can swing it to the side, but that turns the drill press off. Well, surely it won't be a problem when it is in the top position. And now, yes, we are going to drill a piece of wood with a Forstner bit. As if nothing, what a difference from my old drill press. As the spindle goes down very straight with a lot of precision, without play and without vibrations, the Forstner drill bit is not rubbing excessively against the sides, and it didn't get too hot. Look at the good work it does in wood. A very vertical hole, with clean walls and no burns. Let's now do a simple vibration test. I leave you the link to the previous video about this professional drill press. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell.